Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out after long last Superman 2 the Richard Donner cut. This is the other version of Superman 2 and even though I watched a weird version of Superman 2 when I reacted to that uh, like a few weeks ago like four or five weeks ago now it still was the original cut of Superman 2, the theatrical version. I thought I'd watch that first. And now we are watching the Richard Donner version. A lot of people have said that they prefer the Richard Donner version over the normal version, the theatrical version. But I do know that the Richard Donner cut has like some of the audition sequences, like it kind of feels meshed together. Like some of the actual shots in this movie aren't actually shots from a film, like they're audition shots and stuff like that. So I'm kind of interested to see how they're integrated into the story. I also don't know how much of a reaction this is going to be because I don't know how much new content is in this movie. I'm just watching this movie because I didn't necessarily love Superman 2, which I was surprised by because a lot of people love Superman 2. So I'm watching this one to hopefully change my mind about Superman 2. I'm going in open-minded. I'm going in hoping to really enjoy this movie. But again, I don't know how much new and original content is in the Richard Donner cut, but I'm really, really excited to check it out and to see at least the blueprints of Richard Donner's vision. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting. Well, let me set the mood of the lighting. So yeah, let me set the mood and then we'll get back to the video. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, if I had a color for the light today, I think I would go red or no, maybe not red. I think I'd go blue. Blue for Superman's suit. Majority of it is blue. And yeah, I'm just really excited to see, see Superman one last time. And before we get into this reaction, if you'd like to check out more of my videos, you can head over to my Patreon where I have uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. There are also two exclusive Patreon movies a month that you guys on Patreon get to do. So thank you so, so much if you check it out. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, let's get into this movie. I'm really excited to see Christopher Reeve again as Superman, like after the fourth movie, which I had kind of a lot of fun watching, but is a pretty abysmal movie, I may add. I thought I was done with uh, uh, Clark Kent. I'm not Clark Kent. I thought I was done with Christopher Reeve, but I forgot about the Richard Donner cut. And so I'm really excited to see Christopher Reeve back again as Superman. He's definitely my favorite Superman. And I'm excited to hear the John Williams theme. I'm just excited for this movie. And I'm hoping that there is a lot different or at least a majority of the movie like a 60% or even like a 55% of this movie is different than the original because then I think this will be a good video a good reaction video but also I think I'll just have a good time watching it if a lot of it is different so yeah I'm really excited without further ado I hope you enjoy my reaction to Superman 2 the Richard Donner cut oh wait wait no oh I already like this version more because that is so sweet That is so sweet. I ask you now to pronounce judgment on those accused. Ah, but we get Marlon Brando, so it's a plus. Who will now be heard. Guilty. 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 I just put my vote in too. You will bow down before me! Both you! And then one day, you're in! I forgot how good this guy was as Zod. I really enjoyed him in the last movie. Oh, look at them go flying. Wee, look at them go. Wee. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, wait, that's actually so cool. Mind over muscle. I like this recap of the uh, first movie mixed with the, what is it, the Phantom Zone? I think that's what it was called. Wow, oh, look at these, actual good flying effects. How about that, Superman 3 and 4? Here we go, here we go. This is what I've been waiting for this entire film, the entire 10 minutes that we've been watching this. <laughs> yes, yes, Superman 2, let's go! Oh, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. I hope this movie is good. I hope I like this version of the movie. In honor of the third movie, I thought I'd get the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Lois, terrific job. Thanks, Great Chief. story, really 
Hey, good morning, Chief. You're late. Yeah, yeah Miss Lane, that's a good one. <laughs> Hello, Lois. Lois, your detective skills are off the charts. Interesting, is that how she figures out that he's Superman for real? Me. <laughs> She's kind of doing the same thing she, that she did at Niagara Falls. Idea, Mr. White. Excuse me, Mr. White. I'm sorry, but I'm right in the middle of a series on the city council. I mean, it wouldn't take long. We could just fly right up there. And Interesting. It feels like Lois knows of Superman way earlier in this movie than she did in the theatrical version. You know, I didn't start to put this together until this morning, which is really strange because a good reporter isn't supposed to let anything slip by. Hmm. Looks like you're maybe not as good of a reporter as you thought, Lois. <laughs> you mean... You think I'm Superman. <laughs> willing to bet my life on it. Lois. She really is willing to bet her life on it. No, my God. Lois, don't even. Lois. <laughs> well, she definitely did do that in the theatrical version. Lois, you're actually a madman. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so glad. You don't even understand how glad I am to see Otis after the fourth movie person, that teenager. I wanted to slap him in the face so hard 5,000 times. I'm so glad we have Otis back. Just keep Otis. Every man has his vulnerable point. Some, like you, Otis, have more than one. <laughs> Beyond any known conventional radar, it tracks alpha waves. He's like, yeah. I know what alpha waves are. Flying objects. Unidentified. What does it look like? Well A woman. A lot like a Yeah. Like a girl. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, it is. It was. Hey, and if we know anything from the Superman movies, for some reason women can breathe in space, according to the fourth Superman film. If you know, you know. You. Uh, what kind of a creature are you? Just a man. If I was him, I would have said centipede or something like that. Really confuse them. I forgot that he's just sitting on the moon rover like a throne. I love that for Zod. Yellow sun. The more our molecular density gives us unlimited powers. They come from there. A place called Houston. <laughs> I forgot about that Houston line. Houston. <laughs> oh, that's such a good line. Did you just go? I wish I had Miss Luther before we left. <laughs> that was good. So were these all just like deleted scenes or something? Because I don't remember any of this stuff. Like so far it feels like 70% of what I've watched has been unique shots. Or at least like different outtakes of something. You know, it's been really interesting. I'm really enjoying it so far. Don't repeat what I say when I say something. I won't repeat what Okay, say. don't. We'll stop repeating. I really like the banter between the characters and I feel like that wasn't there in the original movie. I'm just gonna keep comparing this. Maybe I should stop comparing this to the original movie. Canada represent! Canada represent! Maybe I'll leave the comparing till after the movie during the review. Dude, he'd be the most annoying friend ever. He'd definitely be one of those friends where there's a group chat with all the other friends and he's not in it. That would, that's him. She really said, I'm going to dress in red. Frankly, I think this place is a little boring. It's all white. Yeah, that's true. Like, where are the family photos, the nice fireplace, the rug on the ground, you know? It could do some redecoration. Oh! 
Brando? <gasps> it is Brando! See, they had the mom, I think, for this one, right? In the theatrical version? Compared it again, my bad. Oh my god! Close up of his face! Oh my god, now he's a floating kid. Why? <laughs> Why did he just record everything to say? Things come to tell you of the darkest episode in Krypton history. When I lost my body, it became a floating kid. What genius could harness these forces of evil? General Sark. Looks kind of cute. His attempted insurrection. Your definition of cute is a little different than mine. Each of them would have the identical powers that you have. Oh, I like the little music cue there. Where's Jimmy Olsen when I need Golly, him? Are we going to see that stupid kid jumping off the railing again or leaning too far over the railing? Because I hope Superman doesn't catch him in this version. Because you're blind, Clark. Oh, yeah. Here. Here, here. Hide your face. Hide your face. Dude. I love that. I love that. Yes, don't save this guy. Clark, once a girl's seen Superman in action, Niagara Falls kind of leaves you cold. You know what I mean? Wow. Whoever dates her next is going to have it rough, let me tell you. Freshly squeezed. I know, okay. This kid literally deserves to go overboard. Literally just push him off yourself. Kid obviously falling for about 20 years. Superman, this kid is falling. You do not have time. <laughs> you do not have time to run backwards. Good catch. Yeah, way to go, man. Is this with one of them just lasers a snake for no reason? For goodness sake, the door wasn't even locked. I mean, just, just anybody can walk in here. There you go, putting... This is very new footage. What? Well, you know, in spite of the, 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 the unreality of, of all this, well, you know, posing as newlyweds for the sake of a newspaper story, well... His glasses seem different. Well, darn it, I don't have anything to apologize for. I'm a good reporter. No, I'm, I'm a very good reporter. And an even better friend to you. That is true. He is. Up in a shirt with a... Always. Color or pattern or something, and a bow tie that doesn't look like a letter opener. All right, Lois. It's just a black bow tie. Calm down, Lois. Go all around the world. Would Superman be in Niagara Falls today? Yeah. Why wouldn't he be in the Grand Canyon? Why don't... Exactly. I can't help it if I had to go to. The... You are Superman, aren't you? <laughs> Lois, look, we've been through these hallucinations of yours before. <laughs> hallucinations? He's gaslighting her. I risked my life. Lois? Oh my no, god. Lois, you're actually too insane. If you'd been wrong, Clark Kent would have been killed. Well, they're blank? Lois is a genius? Oh, okay, good. I'm glad Lois didn't just go psychopath for a second. No, this poor snake, I don't want to watch it die a second time. Yeah, that footage was that Richard Donner's version and then Richard Lester came in and changed that because the room is completely different than in the theatrical version or is that like test footage or something? But that was part of the script, so it must be Richard Donner version that was cut out of the original movie and replaced by Lester version. Did you see that? Did you see what I did? Yeah, I did. I have powers beyond I'm pretty upset that you just killed that snake again. It's interesting to watch this movie and think about where this movie is basically scrapping things from the theatrical version and where it's elongating things from the original version. Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Just, uh... Don't. <laughs> oh, I know you were thinking something dirty there, guys. You dirty minds. Get your minds out the gutter.
What I did miss so far about this movie was uh, that guy's laser quest, you know, in the forest. He just can't get the lasers up. They kind of cut that out of the movie. I kind of miss that. I like that part of the original version. These humans are beginning to bore me. Oh man, I forgot about this. Sot has the force. No one may leave without my permission. Yeah, the kid definitely did not hear you. He was like two miles away on a horse. You whispered it. How did anyone outside of your little vicinity hear you? Like, those people definitely did not hear you. He was only a boy. He will never become a man. Because <laughs> he's dead. Because he's dead. Enough of this, man. If the whole planet is watching, cannot we show them something more interesting? Throw down your arms and surrender. It's like you're about to show them something more interesting. Ah, this little car's about to go to the moon. <laughs> ah, goodbye. See, that moment is much more satisfying in the theatrical version because there's a lot more build up to it. These people have such power, nothing can stop them. Where's Superman? Hey, where is he? Superman he do something? is getting it on, let me tell you. What's that pat on the head? You got this, buddy. Ooh. Oh, that's actually a really cool explosion. Or all of his cities will end up like this one. No, not the giant thing. <laughs> I forgot what it's called right now. Will there ever come a time when I've served enough? At least they get a chance for happiness. I only ask as much, no more. Do this after this movie though, you know? After this movie. You will live as one of them. Love their kind as one of them. Then it follows that you must become one of them. Aha, there we go. But you didn't think of that, Superman. Father, I love her. Okay. He said you can't take it back forever. So I'm assuming he doesn't do it in this version because he gets it back in the theatrical Think version. I love how the dad, he had to pre-record this so he knew that Cal el would do it. <laughs> had no faith in his son. Oh, it looks like he's actually doing it. <laughs> oh, he looks at her. Oh my god. This is actually the worst one because the other ones are probably still alive. They're just getting thrown onto walls and stuff. Zod's actually just killing people. Rise before Zod. No. Kneel before Zod. Ugh. Oh. Such a good line. I do for the sake of the people of the world. But there is one man here on earth who will never kneel before you. Who is this imbecile? <laughs> so quick to insult. Hi, what would you put uh, I'd like a cheeseburger with everything on it, and a Coke, and order of fries, and a side salad. So you made a whole thing to say, oh look, a hot dog place, and then you didn't order a hot dog? Gee, I think perhaps somebody ought to teach you some manners, sir. Ooh, someone should. I said, excuse me, sir, would you care to step outside? What this man's about to do right now no. is the dirtiest trick in the book. After you. Right. You can't hit a man with while his back is turned. Come on, dude. You should be arrested and go to jail for life for that. I don't like your beat anyway. <laughs> Cook's over here dying. <laughs> Just in the corner, poor guy. Superman, if you dare, I defy you. Come, come and kneel before Zod. <laughs> He's a lot more intimidating in this movie. Mm. 
Yes. Yes, it's Mr. Luthor. Son of Jorel. I said that, didn't I? Jorel. Our jailer. Jorel, more like Duracell. Or three. Mm. Or four, if you count him twice. We will bring him to his knees. Wait! You didn't even know where you're going. Australia. <laughs> why Australia? I will never understand why he wants Australia. Australia, like it's a nice place, sure. A lot of deadly animals and everything, but it's a nice place. Why not somewhere else though? Just, just probably better places out there. Sorry if you're from Australia. Father. He's like, so I'm not talking to you. I'm disappointed. Not since I... Father! The green crystal of truth. Whoa. Listen carefully, my He's son. like, you found my secret crystal. Never speak again. What? And now, even though it will exhaust the final energy left within me, Father, no. He's gonna die again? Farewell forever. No, 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 not Brando. Dude, Christopher Reeves acting right now is incredible. My son. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh man, that was really good. I really enjoyed that way of him getting his powers back. It felt a lot more like the stakes were a lot higher because he's actually losing his father to gain his powers back because of his mistakes, which really amplifies that it was a mistake in the first place. <laughs> that guy just threw something at him, that's crazy. Oh, broken hand, Lois. The end, uh, you'll be along. See, they have this relationship, and uh, she does all his public relations, and he gives her every exclusive. <laughs> okay, okay, Luther. I know what you've been thinking of, you dirty mind man. The Superman must be. And you could use a tuck here and there yourself, sister. Wait! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, Lois. You had one job. Get him! Come to me, son of Jerome! I will not. I will fly away. I think you were a coward. I'm not a coward, Zod. It is extremely likely you are merely a fool. Like father. Oh, ho, ho. you gonna take that, Superman? Then die as you deserve to. That was a weird line. Then die as you deserve to? He didn't say anything. Superman never said anything. Zod just decided to say that. Get kicked into the Statue of Liberty. Oh, what you hit a woman? Oh, man, send him flying into the Empire State Building. Yeah, Thank you. you're welcome, lady. Man, Mr. Freeze would be really handy in a situation like this. Oh, get reflected, sun! Become the sun! Cool it! <laughs> oh, that's funny in the background. Superman. Ooh. She should join an ultimate team.
Superman, you should have been able to stop that. I guess it was thrown with quite a bit of force because they're also super strong. That guy is really a pessimist. He jumped to conclusions so quickly. Let's go get him! Ah, we're New Yorkers! <laughs> that was my bad New York accent. I guess they're not in New York, but it's basically New York. And they cut out the best slide for the theatrical version. It was just like, oh yeah, I took some jujitsu lessons or something like that. <laughs> oh, it was such a good line. They cut that out. That was an incredible shot. What do you mean he didn't do anything? Were you watching the same fight that I was? Luthor. Extinguish the greatest criminal flame of our age. Eradicate the only man on earth with- Let me kill him. <laughs> Fair enough. Lex Luthor. Of course not, you turbulence. I do have to say this movie is a lot better put together in terms of just structure and plot pacing. It feels a lot smoother. Show yourself, coward! Son of a coward! <laughs> he really knows how to insult people, doesn't he? Innocent people. Millions if necessary. Beginning with this lowest person. Don't, Superman, don't! Stop it! They really skipped the whole weird fight that they had in here. I'm glad. Me? General, this is Lex Luthor. So it's like, I actually won in Australia. <laughs> My favorite country. Don't go in there, General. It's a trap. Luther, you poisonous snake. That's a molecule chamber. I love that it's right on the outside. I love that that is a hint to the audience about what is happening. You know, Clark Kent should be an actor. He's pretty good at it. Yeah, super bed. Super bed, super bed. I'm glad he's fallen into the endless abyss. <laughs> I like this moment. This is a good moment. Okay, was Luther still in there? I hope not. I got the man I love to love me. Not until he erases your mind. Of course he would never forget. It's a rooftop. I love her shoes. They match his outfit. Well, there he goes, kid. I hope that's the ending for Lois in this movie. I like that one more. What is happening now? Oh my god, he's spinning back time! Oh my god, he's spinning back time! What the heck, he did this in the last movie. In the first one. Oh, I like that we're seeing it from Earth's perspective, though. How much is he spinning back time? This is days, weeks, months. I honestly feel like everything would have been a lot safer if he had kept it the, the way that it was because Zod and his cronies were just out of it, but now they still have a chance to escape. Morning, Oz. Uh. <laughs> did, you, did you ever feel like you knew something that was so important that... I like that she has a lingering memory of it, even though she can't actually recollect anything. Really? Um, like what? Fetch uh, me a coffee. 
Get us a pizza. Oh, I was close. Uh, pizza. It's pizza time. Spider-Man shows up. Pizza time. That is the story. I still don't like this sequence. I still do not like that Superman beats up this guy. I just don't think it it's justified. Never seen garbage eat garbage before. The best thing is that this guy probably doesn't remember who Superman is. Like he doesn't remember this guy. So this guy just came in and insulted him. So this guy has all the right to be angry. <laughs> well, I've been uh, working out. Uh, I still don't agree with that ending. Also, it's a little weird now that he's like reverse time. It doesn't work as well. I like that one better than the theatrical version for sure. And I, I really enjoyed that movie. I really enjoyed this version of the movie. It was a lot better. I thought the tone was a lot better paced because it was just one sole vision. Even though he probably had to use some of Richard Lester's shots, it was still felt like one sole vision throughout. The pacing I thought was great. There were some things that I liked in the theatrical version more. I'll give the theatrical version that. There were some things that I liked in that more, but overall, I like this movie a lot more. And that was my reaction to Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut, the 2006. Oh, so it was more, it was definitely more recent than I thought. I thought it was definitely like early 90s or maybe early 2000s. And I guess 2006 is early 2000s, but I was thinking more like 2002, 2001. So 2006, way later than I thought. But yeah, Superman 2, the Richard Donner cut, starring Christopher Reeve, Margot Kidder, Gene Hackman, Marlon Brando, and Terrence Stamp. And I've got to say right off of the bat, Superman 2, Richard Donner cut has definitely won me over and I now like Superman 2 more than Superman 3 so now if I had to make an official list I would probably go Superman 1, Superman 2, Superman 3 and then Superman 4. This is not counting Superman Returns. If I put Superman Returns in I think it would go after Superman 2 and before Superman 3. But yeah I really love this movie. You could definitely tell that it was one director's vision even if he used the same shots that some of that Richard Lester shot for his film for his version of Superman 2. You could definitely tell tonally and just by the pacing of the story that this was one vision, one director's vision. And I was really glad for that because that was one of my biggest critiques of Superman 2, the theatrical version, because it felt like it was kind of a mesh of two different styles, two different directors, and they just kind of clashed. It didn't fit very well. And so I'm glad that this one kind of sorted that out and it just felt like one vision. Also, I'd like to say that this review is gonna be a little bit different because Superman 2, both versions are kind of the same when it comes to the settings and kind of plot beat for beat things. Uh, if you wanna check out what I think of like the setting, the music of these movies and stuff like that, you can head over to my, just my Superman 2 theatrical version reaction because it's basically the same thing. Like the music in this movie is great, but I go into more detail on why I like the music in the theatrical theatrical version reaction and then as well the sets and stuff all the big set pieces are the same so and maybe like they spend less time or more time at these set pieces so I'm not going to talk about the actual set design and stuff like that in this reaction you can head over to my theatrical version reaction to see what I think about those in this review I'm just going to talk about the similarities and differences that these movies had why I like this version a little bit more and then some of the things that I thought that the theatrical version definitely did better than the, than the Richard Donner cut and then what the Richard Donner cut did better than the theatrical version and I think it did a lot more better than wrong. I would like to talk about the things that I like in the theatrical version first just because I think I'm probably just going to forget about some of my points because I'm just kind of out living this at 10 o'clock at night right now. So some of the things that I think the theatrical version did right they aren't major things by any means they were just kind of little things that I really like some little cool graphic design Designs, some little other cool things like that. So the first thing was definitely Jack O'Holleron's character as like non like the big the big Zod guy, you know, not he's not Zod, but you know the big the big Kryptonian man. I really liked in the theatrical version his quest to laser something and how he starts off and he can't really laser. He just gets a, like a little one out and then he gets one, he gets the fire and he seems all happy and then he shoots the car, you know, there's like the three stages. And I really liked that progression. It wasn't that much character arc. It was just like a fun little moment for this character who didn't really have much else to do in the film. So it kind of gave him something to do, gave him something to like or gave me something to like about him. And in the Richard Donner cut, 
like that was scrapped there were definitely there were two of the three moments in that there was the moment where he kind of makes a little bit of fire and then he's happy and then the moment where he explodes the car but those moments aren't that impactful it just looks like he's lasering it to be cool even though the first time it's really weak for some reason because you don't have the context of him just not being able to do it before and so when he finally hits the car it's not impactful in any way because you don't know that he's been struggling to do it because the first time you're shown if if I hadn't seen the theatrical version I would have just been like oh he's just doing like a little fire or something like that or maybe he's just weaker than the other ones I wasn't I wouldn't be thinking oh maybe he just can't do it at all like maybe he's been working up to get his laser in the first place so I liked that little character progression in the theatrical version it was just really fun and the moment in this in the Donner cut didn't land as well when he shot the car because we didn't have that progression going forward also when Superman becomes a normal person in the theatrical version I really like the effects in that better than I like the effects in the Donner cut I like that he kind of became a normal person like he was Superman and then it kind of split off into Superman and a normal person like I know this happened in three as well but I'm pretty sure in two when he's in the chamber you kind of see Superman and the normal person kind of splitting apart slowly or something like that like it's overlaid and I really liked that effect and they didn't have it in this one so that's another thing that I liked about the theatrical version and then also the ending I thought was better in the theatrical version I liked the ending in this one and I liked everything going up to the ending in in this one in the Donner cut more but once he turned back the world it was cool but I think there were just a lot of contradictions that happened at the end because he turned back the world like the guy at the bar is Clark Kent is just some random bloke now like at least in the other one the guy knew who Clark Kent was like the guy could recognize him but now that the guy is just forgotten it's just like Clark Kent is going in there to beat up some random dude and the dude's being just he's just sitting there eating dinner and so this guy comes up and he's all aggressive and, and in your face like hey bub you're garbage and so like I understand why that guy gets angry so it's kind of like Clark is just the aggressor there and the guy did nothing to aggress to do anything aggressive in the first place like yeah the guy is, is a dick for sure it's just he didn't do anything at least in the guy's mind he didn't do anything wrong so I, I think that it kind of added some things that made the ending a little bit more likable because he did turn back the world and because he turned back the world and time in the first movie as well I was just kind of like oh he's just doing it again it's cool but he's just doing it again but the things that I liked a lot about the Richard Donner cut I liked that they cut out one of my other biggest pet peeves with the theatrical version and that is just the random powers that Superman just obtains out of the blue for no reason at all that fight in the fortress at the end of the theatrical version I honestly dislike that fight quite a bit because Superman uses these powers and while the powers are cool, there has been no lead up to him having these powers in the first place. He just randomly has his cape disc net thing. He can just like clone himself into different places and stuff like that like the cool they just make no sense like why has he never used these before why has there never been any lead up like if the movie had actually cared a lot about these powers they would have shown them at the beginning of the movie and then shown them in the crucial moment and so I like that the Richard Donna cut just scrapped that whole fight I thought that was one of the weaker moments of the theatrical version and then it just gave us the really awesome almost mind game showdown between Zod Superman and a little bit of Lex Luthor Luther in there who was just kind of the mediator between the two and I like that I, I made the finale a lot more in it made me invested a lot more in the finale and it was just it just made the finale for the most part a lot better I also like that he destroys the fortress of solitude at the end I thought that was a really epic moment where he's standing there and he just lasers it and his lasers are so powerful explodes everything I thought that was really great that wasn't in the theatrical version and I love that moment a lot although it was funny because Gene Hackman's just like oh like we're gonna get out of here right and then it just cuts to Superman landing in the Arctic away from the Fortress of Solitude so I was like that is a little bit of a weird cut because what happened to Luther like is he still in the fortress did he die from the lasers like it would have been nice to have seen Luther at the end of the movie escaping because we all know he comes back in the fourth movie even though Superman 2 the Richard Donner cut definitely does not care about the third and the fourth movie like it's basically making its own timeline at this point it still would have been nice to know if Luther was in the Fortress of Solitude because it was definitely left open like up in the air but it was left up in the air in a weird way and again I think just tonally the movie was a lot better scenes felt a lot more fluid they felt a lot more dynamic it felt like it flowed 
from scene to scene to scene there was definitely there were moments where the scenes would interact with each other in terms of like they would kind of cross cut where there would be a scene happening and then Superman would do something else and instead of just playing the whole scene of Zod for instance and then playing the whole scene of Superman it was very it was very intercutted so you get some some of Zod some Superman some Zod some Superman and the theatrical version it was mostly like Zod 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 Superman 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 Zod 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 you know and then we got these little character moments that weren't in the theatrical version as well just like Superman making a a souffle and stuff and that's something that I found interesting about this version of the film is that even though it's shorter by a couple minutes it felt like there was more time for the characters to grow it felt like there was a lot more breathing room for the characters and maybe that's because the comedy was kind of swept aside like there were definitely a lot of comedic moments especially between Otis and Lex Luthor and just Luthor in general was really funny but most of the Richard Lester comedy had kind of been taken out of this movie especially in the second half of this film it's fairly serious and so maybe it's because of this seriousness it's because that the comedy was kind of let go of for the Richard Donner cut that it feels like the characters are allowed to grow and allowed to just kind of live in this world a little bit more like the characters just felt a lot more lived in and the world felt a lot more lived in than it than in the theatrical version and it felt like there were just more character beats in general even though the beats of the story were basically the same as the theatrical version the way it was edited just the tone of the movie and and just these little moments like the souffle moment again for instance these little random con like interconnected moments or just like Lois Lane and 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 co looking out of the window of the Daily Planet hoping Superman's okay which wasn't in the theatrical version like these reaction shots a lot of reaction shots in this these reaction shots help to build the characters build the emotions in the scene and that's something that the theatrical version definitely missed so that's something that I really enjoyed about the Richard Donner cut. The ending again is having me a little perplexed because I would have thought that it would have been better to just leave everything as it was which is why I like the ending of the theatrical version more because Zod is still he still has his powers like there's still the chance for him to escape. So for Superman to have reversed time enough, he would have had to reverse time all the way back to the very end of the first movie when he explodes the missile. He would have had to throw in the missile, reverse time to just after he throws the missile and catch the missile and then throw it somewhere else in space so then Zod doesn't escape. It's just like very convoluted. Like Zod was helpless. He had no powers. He was gone. He was basically dead. And then he's Superman is basically to to save Lois and stuff like that basically. <laughs> he's basically reverse time. So the Fortress of Solitude is no longer destroyed because he reversed time as well most likely so it's just there again so that whole sequence is just kind of for nothing because it's back but also Zod is back so he hasn't defeated Zod and Zod could just break out again at any point and just come back to earth so it was kind of a weird ending to me like it was cool it was just weird and I'm kind of perplexed by how it was a good idea or why it was a good idea for the in the, in the, in the majority of ideas to turn back time I'm just I just don't understand why it was a good idea. But yeah, overall, I liked the Richard Donner cut a lot. It put me on the Superman 2 train for sure. It wasn't as janky as I thought it was going to be. I, I was expecting a lot of jank. People were like, yeah, don't watch the Richard Donner cut until after the theatrical version because you won't like Superman 2 at all because of how janky it is. Like, you need to have the Superman lore behind you to actually like this movie. And maybe that's true. I have watched the theatrical version, as I've said a hundred times in this reaction and review. So maybe that has helped me enjoy Superman Superman to the Donner cut but at the same time I think this movie on its own is just good like I didn't find very much many things where I was like that is a little odd like that shot doesn't feel like it was shot on a movie set there was only like one moment the moment when they're in their hotel room Lois and Superman where I was like this feels a little off that was the only moment every other moment just felt like it was part of the movie which I thought was really good I thought the editing of this movie was great I thought the editing took out a lot of my issues with the theatrical version I think this movie brought in a few of its own issues but it wasn't enough issues to make me dislike it and it wasn't enough issues to make me kind of take a step back from the movie and make me less invested in the movie, like the mistakes in the theatrical version of this film. So overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought Christopher Reeve and everyone did an amazing job. I think they did even better in this movie than they did in the first one. I thought the effects were still great in this one compared to the effects of 3 and compared to the 
effects of Superman 4. If you want to see my reactions to those ones, I have a Superman playlist, and it's uh, those that Superman 4 was definitely something. But yeah, overall, I love this movie. It's now my second favorite Superman movie, and I think I, if I ever watch Superman 2 again, it will be the Richard Donner cut. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. And yeah, uh, if you've made it this far into the reaction, then you have a little, a little surprise gift at the end. You may just not care about this at all, but a lot of people have convinced me to watch Supergirl, so next week you can expect Supergirl. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.